previously on Ancient Warriors, Legacies of Olympus. Look, I understand you think we have lost everything. But we haven't. That's what they want us to believe, that we have. Hades and Apollon are right. What about Cronus? He's a cranky old man. We'll be fine. Why are you two so happy? You two have been dealing with the most stuff out of all of us. Because there will always be a light at the end of the tunnel. And this team is my light at the end of the tunnel. Now, I highly suggest we go to Olympus. Everybody grab your things and meet back here in 20 minutes. Olympus is the safest place we could be right now. Um, wh why do you say that? Because. This is going away forever tomorrow. How do you know? Abigail begins to pull out her knife. Trust me. I just do. Now. Go. Your time starts now. The rest of the warriors go grab their things, except Anthony, Abigail, Apollon, Medusa, and Hades stay behind. You're making the right call. It's hard, Uncle. It'll be over soon. No, all we have to worry about is us getting married. Abigail and Anthony kiss. The warriors return with all of their stuff. Everyone ready? They take their Olympians up to Mount Olympus, and they arrive to Olympus. Well, we're here. Now, we have a lot to do. Like what? Well, Abby and I's rehearsal dinner's tomorrow, and then Abby and I get married. Samantha and the rest of the team have their stuff and overhear Anthony talking about Abigail and him getting married. Then you two lovebirds can leave together in harmony and blah, 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 some romantic shit. Insert here. Wow. Samantha, I didn't know how rude you could be until now. Blake hits Sam on the shoulder to quiet her down. Ow! Okay. Blake is now my new favorite. Hey! hey! Anyway, once we shove Zeus into Tartarus, he'll stay there forever. Now, stay quiet and let's go. All of a sudden, the team sees a floating light coming towards them, and they realize it's the Orb of Chaos, and it lands in Abigail's hand. Didn't it shatter? Huh. I guess the Orb just really likes me. Now, come on. Abigail leads the gang to their quarters on Olympus. Interior, Zeus's throne room. Cronus is walking around Zeus's throne room. Hmm, this would be a perfect place to rule the world from. Watch out, warriors. Here comes Kronos. End of episode 15. Since the dawn of time, a legacy in light. The time has come to take what was rightfully ours We're gonna burn it down The beast can't stop us now Can you feel it stirring in the wind? Ready! Ready! Ancient gods! Olympian on! Ancient Warriors, Legacies of Olympus, Episode 16. Part 1, Last Minute Speeches. Interior, Mount Olympus, Abigail's Bedroom, Balcony. Abigail is standing out on the balcony of her bedroom, looking at the skies of Mount Olympus. 
Anthony stands beside her as they look out to the view together. So this is our view for the next thousand years. Yeah, pretty nice view. What's wrong? Are you getting nervous about something? Uh, no, I'm just, I'm thinking about the wedding. I wanted my mom to be there, but you know, now she can't. Just think of this as a time to move forward, you know? And celebrate the love we share with one another. <laughs> just think of 24 hours, Zeus would be out of our lives for good. Yeah, you're right. Let's celebrate with more wine. Abigail grabs the bottle of wine that is closest to them, and Anthony snatches it away. Man, you are not trying to sneak another sip. Especially when we have to kick some godly butts. Why do you always have to be right? Oh, that's my charm, I guess. So, are you ready to get married? Why wouldn't I be? Oh, shit. I need to go find Samantha and Ivy. Wait, why? I may or may not have forgot to ask them to be my maid of honor and official. Shan? Babe? What? With everything going on, I kind of just, you know, forgot. <laughs> really? Have you asked Marco to be your best man? Well, no. Hmm! Now who was the forgetful one? Go find Marco. Now. Abigail is pushing Anthony out the door. All right, I'm going. I'm going. Hold on. I know. Abigail and Anthony leave their room to go find Samantha, Ivy, and Marco. Abigail finds Samantha, Riley, Blake, and Ivy talking together. Hey, uh, Samantha, Ivy, can I talk to you two alone? You know, for just a sec? I, I guess so. What's up? So, I don't have an officiant for my wedding. Well, Ivy, since you are the warrior of love, it would only seem fitting if you were the officiant at my wedding. Really? What do you say? Well, I mean, I don't really have a choice. Of course, I would love to. Well, I'll see you guys later. Need to run to my computer and get officiated. Bye. Summon Pegasus Olympian. Before Abigail or Samantha can say bye, Ivy calls her Olympian to go back to Earth, excited and ready to be officiated. After Ivy is gone, Samantha turns back to Abigail and looks at her with a confused look. And what about me? Well... I do need a maid of honor. And let me guess, you want me to do it? Well, yeah, I mean, you're my niece. And I trust you. Really? Like, really, really? Yeah. Even with our differences and our troubles, you've been more like a sister to me than a friend. I would have no other person be my maid of honor. Stop! Don't you make me cry! Sam, I'm already crying. Samantha hugs Abigail, and they cry together for a while. Okay, now that I've gotten, you know, all of my emotions out for a week, I need to go write th that maid of honor speech so, you know, since I have less than, like, two days. See you. Meanwhile, Anthony is on the search for Marco and finds him. Anthony runs over to him out of breath. What's wrong? Give me a second. Is everything okay? Yeah. Um, hey, I just had a question to ask you. Uh, can it kind of last a minute, so uh, sorry in advance. What's up? Well, <laughs> I was wondering if you would be the best man for my wedding. <laughs> of course, man. You're my little brother. Great. But? But, but what? Are you sure? Yes! Who else would I rather have? You're my big brother. I trust you in that I know you will create the best speech ever. <laughs> Thanks. The brothers hug each other. Their shapeshifters go off. Hey guys, what's up? Meet me in the bedroom. We finished the plan. We are getting rid of Zeus. Who's we? Samantha and Ivy appear in the hologram image with Abigail. Hey. Hey, I'm back. Did you tell Ivy the plan? Yes. And she is now officially ordained. Well, does that mean we could get married now? What? I've planned this wedding since I was a little kid, and I'm not changing my mind now. Okay, fine. Anyway, just get back here. We don't have a lot of time. All right, we're on our way. Anthony and Marco head to Abigail's bedroom, and they see the gang on the floor looking at the plan. So let me get this right. We are chopping up Zeus? So, for the millionth time, we are throwing Zeus into a cage, then into Tartarus, how does that not make sense? Whoa, calm down. 
You're telling me to calm down? Uh-oh. Seriously, Alex, not cool. Samantha grabs Riley and Blake to move back far away from Abigail. Oh, you really don't know what it's like to be the child of a freaking bastard, do you? Who took my mother away? He broke my family apart and he deserves to be destroyed for that. Not to say the idea's awful. I love blood and gore and stuff like that as much as the next person. But, um, just how the heck are we going to do that? Ivy's right. We need to corner him somehow. This is what it all comes down to, warriors, for us to save the world as we know it. You guys have it so simple. You guys are the kids of gods. Nothing ever happens. Man, you guys think it's that just that simple, don't you? Being the child of a god is one of the hardest things we've had to go through. I'm the daughter of Apollo. Son of Ares. Sons, sons of, of Neptune. Neptune. The daughter of Zeus. And the daughter of Artemis. Well then, hey, I'm the sister of a disappointment. The warriors look at Ivy. Well, please, we were all thinking it. Anyway, you always say gods have it easier than you. We deal with a shit ton more problems than most mortals. Meanwhile, in Zeus's throne room, Hades walks into the throne room looking for Zeus. Zeus, show yourself. Come on, brother. You think it's that easy to take me down? Yeah. How do you know? <laughs> I've done it once, and I'll do it again. Zeus and Hades get into a sword fight, and Hades cuts Zeus across the arm. Why? Why are you doing this? You've hurt those kids? Now I get to help them by destroying you. Meanwhile, back in Abigail's room, the warriors sit in awkward silence. I think we all understand that things are pretty tense right now. But we gotta stop Zeus. As tense as things are right now, it may be our last time to make things right. It's now or never. Riley and Blake are right. I, I can't believe I'm about to say this, but we gotta put our differences aside. Whether you're a god or mortal, we all have the same goal. And that's stopping Zeus. Okay then, our game plan is simple. I go in, I stab him. But it's gonna take all of us to trap him in Tartarus. Well, I think I can help with the magic part. Good. Then let's get going. End of part one.